Eric Vicky detectives say David Candelacki was supposed to fly to Miami, Florida earlier this week to meet his wife and kids. When he didn't show up, his wife called police. He was supposed to be there on Wednesday evening. As of yesterday uh, or late Wednesday, he had not uh, made the trip to Miami. When St. Matthew's police got called by Kendall Aki's wife Thursday morning, they began trying to figure out where he was. According to a missing persons report, Kendall Aki was supposed to drive to Cincinnati, then fly to Miami to meet his family. He was supposed to go to Miami, Florida to meet her. Uh, she was coming back from a vacation or a, a, uh, overseas, and he was to meet her in Florida and, and uh, come back to Louisville, Kentucky with her. During their investigation, detectives learned Kendallacki dropped off the family car and dog at a friend's home in Jefferson Town, but never caught his flight. This uh, was very unusual for him not to uh, uh, follow through on his plans. St. Matthews police say detectives talked with friends, family, and co-workers trying to track down Kendallacki. Their information combined with what we had developed led us to an apartment complex on Abigail Lane. When St. Matthew's police got into this apartment building Thursday night, officers say they found the bodies of Kendall Lackey and 30-year-old Joshua Rice. Shocking and uh, um, heartbreaking for anybody and anybody's families. One neighbor says police were in and out of the apartment all evening. Police, dead bodies coming out of the, coming out of the back here, and people were talking about it. Two people had been found dead found out later they were shot. Now, because the apartment where the two bodies were located is located in Metro Louisville, LMPD is handling this investigation. At this point, detectives have not released any information about any suspects and no arrests have been made. Reporting live in St. Matthews, Emily Maha, WLKY News.